The first on my list is this place in Brampton on um, Mississauga Road in Steeles. This place is called Anato. It's a healthy Caribbean kitchen. So they do like a base. They do some, you know, they have like rice, pasta, all that kind of stuff. And then they do like traditional jerk chicken or oxtail and that sort of stuff. And it's just Caribbean food with a little bit of a healthy twist to it. And I personally love their food. And the owners are are Jamaican and they're Jamaican Muslim as well. And they're they're fantastic people. Uh, I haven't really had food like that in the GTA. Like there's other Caribbean spots, but, you know, these guys have like a little bit of like a like a home touch to it. So uh, I love the food over there. And I've been going back ever since I tried it last summer or two summers ago in 2021. Barbecue, if you like barbecue, there's a spot downtown DuPont Street called Backyard Smokehouse. That's one of the spots in, in Toronto that I feel is the only ones really doing barbecue well, because I've had the barbecue in the States in Houston. I've had the barbecue in the States in uh, Dearborn and it's kind of miles ahead of Toronto in terms of like the barbecue scene. And I would say Backyard Smokehouse is the closest but when it comes to traditional American barbecue. The brisket is really juicy. The ribs are fall off the bone. Um, and I generally enjoy my meals whenever I go there. Ecstatic is a classic in Toronto. They do halal brunch. There's not a lot of halal brunch places, obviously, because, you know, well, a, a lot of, you know, not halal eaters, regular people in, in Toronto, like they'll eat bacon and stuff like that. But there's not a lot of spots that are exclusively halal when it comes to like the brunch sense. So uh, Ecstatic is a classic choice when it comes to that. In Oakville, there's a spot called the hungry dragon also known as mickey's pizza i used to go there all the time when i was uh in high school because my high school was close by there and they do deep dish pizza with halal toppings the owners are really really lovely people um and they're people who also look out for the halal community as well and they have a separate halal menu so if you're into deep dish pizza i personally think it's a little bit better than the the pizza they got in chicago but it's excellent Another spot in Mississauga called Song Cooks. They do halal Korean fried chicken. Nobody's doing that. Like it's very, very hard to find a halal Korean spot um, or at least a Korean spot with halal options. Um, and all their, their meats are halal. So, you know, you could have like, you know, tradition Korean, uh, traditional Korean short ribs. I recently had a kimchi pancake over there, which is the first time I had something like that, which is pretty good. Um, but the star of the show is always their Korean fried chicken. It's crispy, it's spicy, um, and it leaves kind of like a little bit of a nice taste in your mouth after, which is excellent. Um, I always tend to go back over there when I want when I want fried chicken over the traditional Popeyes and all that kind of stuff that's halal in the GTA. So that's another great spot in Mississauga. I mentioned Plan B. I, that's one of the spots that I completely die for all the time. Like I, I would 100% ride for them. Like the owners, like the the mission behind the restaurant, all that kind of stuff. Halal South African food, you have to try it. It's excellent. They have these traditional um, burrower sausage, which is made out of beef, I believe. Um, and it's they use natural casing as well. So there's like a little bit of a snap to it as well, which is really excellent. Not a lot of people are doing something like that. Um, they do steaks, lamb chops, pre pre chicken, and then they have their burgers as well. Um, they do traditional South African barbecue, which is called braai. Um, and I love, I, I love their food so much. And finally, I guess I'll talk about East Meets West. They're like a food packager here, or they make their own meats and then they package it and they sell it to different kind of supermarkets and that sort of thing. So they have a store uh, where you can actually get sandwiches made. It's kind of a little bit of a hidden gem in Mississauga. I think everybody in Mississauga kind of knows about it, but it's kind of tucked away in a little plaza uh, at Cawthra and Queensway, if you're in the area. And they do these amazing amazing Montreal smoked meat sandwiches on rye bread with um, with all the different topics on it. And it's just a fantastic sandwich. Like if you're in the mood for a sandwich, definitely go to East Meets West. Um, and I guess that's kind of my list when it comes to unique options, things that you can't really find anywhere else in the world or anywhere else like in the GTA, maybe the barbecue, but in terms of what we got in the GTA, I think, you know, one of the, one of the advantages of being in Toronto all the time is we're surrounded by diversity, right? So, um, and very, very accepting people. So everybody is going to try and, you know, look out for the halal community, which is like a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you.